happy Sunday. It's me, JC, back again. And this video is kind of a hybrid. One, I didn't know if everybody saw the news, but KISS is now holograms. <laughs> if you go to KISS's YouTube page, they have a, a video that shows that they have been av made into avatars. And it sounds like it's either going to be some sort of tour or residency where you'll go see KISS, but instead of seeing uh, people playing live, it will be um, holograms. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what to say, guys. We just knew it would continue in one form or another, um, you know, and uh, this is probably a way for KISS to um, make an extreme amount of revenue uh, and Paul and Gene get to keep the majority of the profits. That's what I would say. Uh, but other than that, I wanted to talk about Sunday morning routines. Now, Sunday morning is the time that I get to listen to the most amount of records. Uh, so I wake up much earlier than the rest of the family. Normally, I'm an early riser. At 5 a.m., I'm up. Family tends to sleep in because it's the weekend. And I'll go down to my record room. And I'll, much like, you know, Aaron starts with the blues, I tend to not start with the blues, but start with um, slower music. And it probably stems back from my childhood, um, where every morning I would wake up on the weekends to the Beatles, specifically Rubber Soul, too, which is my dad's favorite album. Here's my original mono press and my original stereo US press. Um, so I listen to those albums quite a bit on Sunday. So I tend to start off with a slower, um, you know, a slower album, singer, songwriter primarily. To give you an example, here is some of the records that I've spun this morning or about to spin. Um, so I started off with David Broomberg, which I absolutely love. This is his greatest hits, uh, especially songs like The Joke's On Me or Mr. Bojangles. So great. He's got a unique voice. He's not for everybody, but just an excellent album. Then I moved to something like this, Warren Zevon, The Wind. I have to be in the right mood to listen to this album because it is quite sad, uh, but just a fantastic album. I love Warren Zevon. Uh, then we pick up the pace a little bit and maybe go to something like The Yardbirds. Um, so this is Yardbirds' greatest hits, uh, 1964 to 1966. Um, so it's got songs like I'm a Man, uh, I'm Not Talking, I Wish You Would. So some great songs on there. Um, and then I move to kind of uh, more hard rock. Uh, generally, Sunday mornings, I don't dive into anything too, too heavy. But um, these are the th records I'm going to spin next. Um, so XYZ with their first album. Uh, Y&T, Mean Streak, uh, which is just such a great album. Look at that hype sticker. And then like Warlock, uh, Triumph, and Agony. Uh, by the time that uh, either two... Maybe I'll get through all three or two of these records. I'm sure the family will want to do something and my record playing will stop for the day. Um, but that's my Sunday morning routine. Cup of coffee, two, three cups of coffee sometimes. Uh, start off with some slower music and then gradually build up into some heavier music. Uh, and then if, if the day continues, if uh, the family doesn't want to go out or do anything, I could see myself diving into... Uh, maybe some typo negative, maybe some sound garden, uh, maybe even some suicidal tendencies or slayer. Um, so that's my Sunday morning routine. Let's see how many albums I can listen to today. What's your Sunday morning routine? Put it in the comments or uh, let me know and uh, go check out Kiss now in hologram form. <laughs> that band cracks me up. All right, guys, we'll talk soon. Peace, rock out. Love you guys. Bye.